This will be a quick video demonstrating a new project I made using a PSOC 5 LP kit. Um, it's a audio effect thing that uses um, the SAR and SAR sequencer to control um, sampling rate, bit depth, and uh, also I have a kind of unique one moment. I have a kind of unique audio effect. It's sort of a octave down distortion, um, and it'll be more clear as I play. I have two Korg. SQ1s controlling the sample rate is controlled right here. Uh, basically, I have a little PWM that acts as a that acts as a little enable for the SAR, and um, then I have uh, this is controlling the. Uh, it's a bit mask basically, so it adds a, a it drops certain bits out of the signal, um, and then the duty cycle for each of these is controlling the depth of the distortion effect in chunks of two bits for the upper bytes, and then two four bit chunks. It's a twelve bit effect, and it'll all be very clear in a second. Okay, so uh, first thing I'll do is I'll play just the synth sound. And it's just a simple little mono tribe. And you see that the sound input is tracking nicely to the output. Um, input voltage is zero to two and a half volts. Output voltage is um, zero to five volts. It's using a little SPI DAC that I have. Um, yeah. So very simple. And now I'll change the sample rates on some of the steps. Add some drums. So yeah. Very simple. Um, and now um, I'll show the lowest of the distortions on some of the steps. Can't really hear it too much because it's on just the lowest bits. So I'll add in the next set of bits, which is where it gets a little fun. So it's a sequenceable distortion. And now here comes the bit dropping. You can start to see that a little bit on there. I'll add in just a few steps of the really high intensity distortion. It's very ugly. This was a fairly complicated project, um, just because I've never used the platform before, and also, um, you know, it's got a lot of moving parts to handle. Um, but the code itself is pretty straightforward. I'll bring that over. Um, basically, I have some functions that read the SAR results and um, just route the signal to various places. Not using too many pins, not using too many resources. Actually, if you look at the resource meter, it's, it's quite low, except for the UDB blocks for the PWMs. 
And honestly, this was kind of a failed experiment. Um, I was going to have variable period um, duty cycle on each bit of the ADC. Oh, about the theory. Um, Anyway. It takes uh, incoming audio from my trusty mono tribe uh, goes into the ADC and gets processed using whatever this crap I did at this, and then uh, the parameters are controlled via control voltage or digital inputs, in the case of the triggers, um, through the, again, through the 5LP, there, the PSOC. Um, and that's that's about it. It uh, took, took about a month, I think. It's based on a project I did a couple years ago that I did entirely in CMOS logic just to see if I could. Um, and I think this is a little bit more flexible. I still got a lot of work to do on it, but I wanted to show, you know, a quick demo of some of the things that can be done. So yeah, get rid of the distortion and show just the bit masking effect. quite proud of the distortion sound, I think it sounds pretty badass.